think uh, it's fine for men to cry. I mean, I think any emotion, laughing, crying, if it's from your soul, and like all the sports people, they've worked so hard to get to a place, mm. or if it's for something, you know, that's really sad that's going mm. on in your life. But I don't think it's good to do it just for effect. Was Paul somebody, did you see Paul then yes. cry? Yeah, if he, you know, watched a sad story on the news, you mm. know, he tears would well up So would you tell eyes. him to pull himself together? Come on, what are you doing? It's just... No, no, no. Because no, is I, that from the heart? No. Is that what you're talking about? I, no, I, I just think that if everybody is allowed to cry all the time, you couldn't do your jobs when you're dealing with difficult subjects mm. if you were allowed just to let loose and let the tears flow. So you, almost there has to be some stop and some control at some There's point. an indulgence in yes. it, from your view, that sometimes when we see men, people crying, men crying, it's almost indulgent yeah. rather than, you know, manning up and going forward. Do you think there's some argument in that? 100%, yeah. I mean, look, I, I might be right. If you're going to cry, cry from the heart. Don't cry just for the show or the TV, but going back to Gascoigne, you can genuinely see how heartbroken he was. I think the whole nation was. Tamar, you're, you're, you're well known as a, a, a big, strong guy, a hard man. You played lots of very sort of violent characters in your acting mm -hmm. career over the years. Uh, you're not necessarily the picture of a man who's... You, know, you don't portray <laughs> a picture of a man who's in touch with emotions that will cry when emotionally he feels vulnerable. Listen, it, look... That, it, do you think you've changed over the years? Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> as a man, the older you get, the easier it is to cry. I mean, my poor <laughs> dad, he just cries at EastEnders, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're constantly giving him the, uh, the tissues and stuff but yeah I think a lot you know there's a lot of I mean if I can just touch on things like mental health there's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, issues and there's a lot of healing in crying for men um, you know I, I'm kind of campaigning for mental health is that and trying to put awareness out there but crying is a part of healing I mean you can cry for for happiness for, for sadness and you know a lot of people and culturally we was brought up to be men Mediterraneans mm -hmm. was and I was guilty of that with my son for a little while but as I got older and I started understanding myself it is very healing to cry. If you're going to cry, cry, like you were saying. Mm. If you're going to cry and it's real and it's real emotion, then cry. I mean, just touching on Ovi, I mean, you look at Ovi, six foot seven, basketball mm. player, solid man, do you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, he's found himself crying. But is that is is it real? Because it's in the situation that he's in. He's in the house. Would he do that on the outside? Who knows? But he's in that situation. Where How will he feel when he watches that back as well, Tom? He's going to be mortified. Yeah, mm. he really is. But it, at the time, it was real. It was real for him, wasn't it? It was real. He, he let his mate down. He, you know, he felt like he couldn't do anything because his hands were tight. So that emotion came out. But he shouldn't be mortified, should he? Because he was upset that his friend was going, and that's what he was. But no, or was he, he was upset that he looked his bad because yeah, no. he had to make the decision? But that's I, what I, I don't say mortified said. for crying. But he was more because he couldn't help him. His hands were tired. Yeah. The game says you've got to do certain things. And he was just like, I could have said to save him, but I didn't. But even if he did say yes, he could. But I'd imagine, Debbie, at that point, because as Tam was mm. saying, it's a game what they're doing on or it's, yeah. a, it's yeah. a TV it's a show, it's yeah. a game. They're Correct. being manipulated by the producers, by the whole process. So should they be a bit tougher? Should they be able to go? Should Ovi be able to turn around and go, I have no choice here, so I'm not going to buckle, I'm not going to cry, because I understand what was put in front of me before I got here. Well, actually, me crying is really weak. I think the, the, the thing about that situation, it's so surreal for them mm. anyway, mm. and they don't understand how the programme is manipulating them. And they're all young. And, mm. you know, we've got a little bit older where you kind of <laughs> see bit. through things. <laughs> and, and I just... I actually feel really sorry for them because I don't... You know, I think... They're in there, and he would cry because he feels. But, I there don't is think a he's got any of, choice. There is a, an actual, genuine medical, physiological healing, healing. about crying. There you is, mentioned a dad sure. crying yeah, over his tenders. Yeah. Even if you cry over something small, it might be real. You're crying release, over something it? bigger, bigger yeah. and it comes out of your system, and it actually sure. does you good, doesn't yeah. it? But I, even in there, sorry, even in there, who knows whether the producer exactly. said, "Listen, cry." I mean, I'm an actor. I've yeah. got to sometimes. Can it's you cry on command? On tap. Can you? Yeah. Do it now. See, I knew you was going to say that. I've got the 80 now, so I think cry. I tell you what might make you cry on tap. Yeah, yeah, tell me Is about watching my daughter. Is your daughter in love yeah. island? <laughs> but, then, but I've got to say, Ben, women love men crying. It's a good app for a man. If you're in Is trouble, it? start crying. <gasps> Is start it? Crying. Has it helped you in the oh, past, Tamar? You have no idea. Well, if you've got caught out make... doing something. No, 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 no. Not caught out, but close. <laughs> close. The crying gets you out of it. So, so, so talk us through it, Tamar, because, of course, 
I mean, your daughter is a very successful makeup artist yeah. and she decided to go in. You are a man who's worked in the entertainment industry for many, many years. As Debbie was saying, they probably didn't really appreciate how they were going to be manipulated. You would have had some insight into that because you've worked on TV and you've worked in film and how things can be produced. Sure. Were you, were you cautious for her? Were you worried? Would you have rather she'd not done it? No, listen, my daughter's very talented, very smart. She's, she's elegant. She, she holds her own well. And she's sort of done some stuff with me as a kid. She's a, she's a really talented actress. She did her drama school. She went through the right mm, path. I didn't. Yeah. I was untrained, sort of. I'm at a Guy Ritchie school and sort of Nick Love school. And I just got kind of thrown in and I had to learn the hard way. But... For her, she, it was so quick. She just went, Dad, I want to do this. And I'm like, really? It's like, oh, you know, being a dad and your daughter. But I've got a supporter. Do you know, I've got a supporter. She wanted to be a makeup artist. She found her love in that. Uh, and she wasn't cool around fame when, when she was growing up. She, uh, she kind of looked like she was worried about it. But, you know, the wife says, no, no, she, she didn't like the attention you was getting because you was her dad. But then all of a sudden she says to me, I want to go on the biggest show on in the mm. country and, yeah. and you're going to come out, probably mm. the most famous person uh, around for a minute. But she's gone in there, she's holding her own and, and we got a support. Are you proud of how she's Very proud, on. I'm very proud. She's held her own, she's, she's Is it difficult though? To... I'm watching like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At first it was, it was um, I'm kind of ringing up the agent, I'm ringing in doors and I'm saying, uh, it's all right to watch and they're like, no, nah, not today. I mean, the, producer, <laughs> the, producers, the producers are ringing up, just check, saying, "Look, they're okay, and we're checking up on it." And I said, "I was, I was driving back from Switzerland, and uh, and I said I didn't watch yesterday." So I said, "Maybe you shouldn't watch yesterday." Oh, so no. It was a lap dancing thing. It was, yeah. oh, it was that one. But you know what? I watched it, and she and she actually made me laugh. I thought yeah. she was brilliant. And I've got to take it. It's a game show, reality TV. We have to respect it and love it because it is what it yeah. is. You've got to move with the times. And she's a woman. And do you know what? She's liberating women. I think because of her cultural backgrounds as well, mm -hmm. where we come from, it was always sort of we, the, the women were sort of kept behind. My mum was a big advocate of push, push, pushing the women forward. Mm. And I think you know, I went to a to the Turkish uh, festival, Cypriot women, and, mm. and just girls come and go, and we're celebrating, we're celebrating, because a little bit of my, what's people gonna think, you know, my mum loves it, everyone loves her, so, you so know, she's far, empowering, so good, yeah. she's empowering yeah. women, so something good. great's gonna come of it. And what about the relationship? Is something gonna, great gonna come of the relationship? And is she gonna find the love of her life, Tony? What camera am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> You're right there number one. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a good kid, he's a good kid, I like him. Like I said, if he is what he says he is, uh, and he's an excitable kid. My, my daughter, uh, she likes to mother. So uh, it, it can work, and I hope she finds what she's looking for. I really do. Great stuff. Aww. Well, we really appreciate you both coming in, Debbie. Thank lovely you. to see you, Tamar. Thanks very much. We will be glued, as ever, to the rest of Love Island <laughs> with you Vote Bell, too. vote Bell. There you go. Oh, That's really there you go. Lesson, you've been voting in our Twitter poll. We asked it if seeing men cry on TV is empowering. 43% of you said yes. 57% said no. It's not empowering. 57% Shows the British more. stiff upper lip still in well, place, isn't it? That's got to change sharpish, otherwise oh. I'm going to come and find you. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a few more crimes. <laughs>